everyone, I'm Holly, and in this video I'm making cotton candy ice cream wax melt brittle. I have three pitchers here with my soy wax, and I'm just adding the color and the fragrance oil to each one. This fragrance is so amazing. It has cotton candy and waffle cone and ice cream, and oh, it's just so good. I'm always a sucker for cotton candy scents in the summer. Now the pour is always just a little bit weird and I could really improve on you know the technique but I got the job done and I was filming at the time so I thought I would go ahead and share it with you. I love how this first batch turned out but each batch does turn out completely different. My thought process here was that I would use blue, pink, and yellow, and together they would mix to create rainbow colors. That worked pretty well for this batch, but some of the other batches the colors did stay a little bit more separate, but they're still beautiful batches. So I'm using this heat gun, not so much with a lot of heat, but just to melt it a little bit and then kind of blow it around is more what I'm doing here. But I am melting it just a bit, just so I can make sure that those layers do bond and mix a little bit. Filming this was actually very helpful for me, and so when I go to make it again another time, I can kind of look this over and see where I can make some changes. So now I'm just going over the tops just a little bit to smooth it out and break the air bubbles and such. And now I have these adorable rainbow sprinkles. I have stars and then just the little spheres. I love how this wax is looking as it's cooling here. Isn't that pretty? This table is actually really cold and my room I think when I was making it that day was about 65 to 70 degrees so it really was quite cool. Um, a little warmer room and maybe a heat blanket or a heat pad of some sort might help with this process. So now I'm just barely hitting it with the heat gun again to settle those sprinkles in otherwise they'll pop out when I break up the brittle. That middle one is so gorgeous. And now in with some holographic rainbow glitter. I love this stuff, it's so pretty. And this is just a short time lapse of the wax as it was cooling down. I'm adding in this second batch just to show you that I pretty much did the same thing, but I had different results.
and now in with the yellow and you might be able to see that that yellow stays pretty much wherever I pour it and it doesn't really spread around or mix up the colors. So here we have another little time lapse as the wax is cooling off. So now it's sprinkle time again. This may be my favorite part. You can really, really see now, especially in that one I'm working on right now, that the colors really stayed separate. I was a little bit more timid with this batch on blowing it around because I didn't want it to mix too much and become brown. But, you know, that's how it goes. You just gotta go with the flow. I allowed the wax to cool overnight. Now it's time to unmold and break it up. Isn't that gorgeous? It's so pretty. These molds are quite easy to work with. They're just candy bark molds from Wilton. That one was really pretty. And I don't know why I decided to stack them up, but I did and I think it's actually kind of pretty. So now it's time to start breaking it up. It's quite a simple process. It's just a matter of breaking it. Let's zoom in for a listen, shall we? Now it's time to break up this most gorgeous one. And you can see that most of those sprinkles are staying on, so it really does work to hit them with a little bit of heat to keep them in place. I have no idea why I did not break that other piece. And I don't know at what point I get to it. This was a really fun job. I enjoyed this quite a bit. It's so pretty, all the layers. And this one was from that second batch, and look how different it is. It kind of looks like a cool galaxy, doesn't it? But wait, there's more. I had a whole nother tray full. Going in for a close-up of the brittle on the tray. I must say, these make me feel quite joyful.
To use a wax melt, you simply place your desired pieces into an approved wax warmer, melt, and enjoy the fragrance released. This time lapse does get cut off a little too early. I was so busy making wax that I didn't realize that my camera had shut off. But you get the idea. So there we have it guys. Thanks for watching and I'll talk to you later. Bye.